We are here at FEED 2019 and we are here to talk about the fiber optic real shape technology. My name is Joost van Herwarden, vascular surgeon from Utrecht. And I'm here together with Thilo Keubel, vascular surgeon from Hamburg. Thilo, what do you think that are the current uh, most important challenges with endovascular procedures? We are both working mostly in the aortic space and uh, you and I know that devices are getting more complex. We do branched fenestrated devices and we treat more complex anatomies. Uh, so the tools that we need for that uh, um, are sometimes not sufficient. And, and one thing that is limiting me and my colleagues frequently is that we only get uh, 2D images uh, with the current X-ray technology and fluoroscopy that we're using. Um, and another uh, significant limitation is that the, our working tool, uh, fluoroscopy, actually produces uh, X-ray and I'm not the only one in the operating room um, who is concerned. Joost, can you tell us a little bit more about what FORS technology is? FORS TILO stands for Fiber Optic Wheel Shape Technology. Um, this technology is really uh, exciting new technology because it will replace catheters and guide wires that need X-ray for the uh, visibility uh, with uh, guide wires and uh, catheters with optical fibers inside. Mm -hmm. And by sending light through those fibers and analyzing that light, it's possible to reconstruct, to, to, to visualize those uh, devices on the screen in real time in 3D and in very distinctive colors. This uh, will uh, give us a lot of uh, benefits for our procedures uh, in the future. Jules, can you share some of the remarkable moments from the first in human study? What, how was that experience? Yeah, I would love to. And there were several remarkable uh, moments, uh, Tilo. One of the most remarkable moments uh, for me was a case with a patient with a very tortuous iliac artery. And I started using force and it was hard to get through this tortuous kinked iliac artery simply because I couldn't see uh, in AP uh, how to pass this, uh, this tortuosity. And then I realized that with, with force, we can use every viewing angle that we want. Every desired view, viewing angle is possible, and that's different than with the C-arm. So we rotated the anatomy to an extreme craniocaudal position, and then I had great visibility on the kink and getting, uh, getting of passing this, this kink with the 3D um, uh, devices was actually quite easy. So that was a big, for me, the first big advantage, uh, the first moment that I could really see advantage of this uh, uh, technology. And this was technically made it easier, but always also then uh, when realizing that this was all done without fluoroscopy, that was a big advantage. And, and to your opinion, uh, Thilo, what do you think that should be the next steps? Uh, for us, the next steps are, are uh, the uh, a clinical study to uh, see how we can substantiate the uh, um, expected advantages like uh, the reduction of operating time, reduction of uh, radiation exposure and I actually expect that we will find, uh, uh, find advantages of the technology that we are not, uh, not already thinking of because force is a very basic technology and uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I would not be surprised if we get some, uh, some very nice new tools in the future by force. I'm also looking forward to that uh, multi-center trials that we are going to do together with uh, other colleagues uh, from Europe and the US to really uh, get more and, and, and data about the benefits uh, of this uh, technology. Thilo, that sounds really exciting. Um, I'm really looking forward to this collaboration uh, in the near future. Uh, thank you for this uh, very nice talk about uh, fiber optic uh, wheel shape uh, technology and uh, thank you all for your attention.